question from Dan. Dan says, oh, yeah, he came in a little bit later. Dan says, was she doing everything before the upgrade to wife already or only after you upgraded her to wife? Oh, no, she's doing everything before. You got it. It, it has to happen before. You feel what I'm saying? Because the before is like the the 90 day trial period. You feel what I'm saying? Before is like the resume. Before is like showing that you are capable of getting, you know, the actual upgrade. You see what I mean? So the thing is, is that and see this is why this is the, the problem with, in a lot of relationships. A lot of guys, especially, have drama and a lot of stuff going on with their with their women because they've gave the woman a position without testing her out without seeing if she's ready for that and then you while she's while while you're seeing if she's ready you have to teach her so what happens is that if you teach her what to do and how to do it and how to be then when you give her the upgrade then she knows how to be in that situation you see what i'm saying so it's just like if somebody's working at target or something like that you got to train them on how to do this how to work this you know they got to wear this type of uniform and all this other stuff so when they start work right? They already know what they need to do in the company. And it's the same thing when you're in a relationship is that once before you upgrade, she has to be taught how to be that wife. You feel what I'm saying? She's taught how to be that, you know, that woman. And then so therefore you don't have any craziness and any drama because she's already been taught how to do that. The problem is if you don't teach her, then you're going to prepare your, you got to prepare yourself for some drama and some nonsense because you're all over the place. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So during the vetting process, do you take into account her parents, a relationship, like if they're together or how the mother speaks to the father, how the mother um, speaks to her sons, how your girl talks to her father and her sons, like, cause I, from my personal experience, a lot of women, they unconsciously, become whoever their mother was within their relationships. So do you look at that at all? Um, no, nah, not at all. Because the thing is, she still has to adhere to what I'm doing. So like, it doesn't matter what, because it's like this. It's like, I, I love using a business example. It's like, if a person's working at Target, right? And then they, they, they leave Target to work at McDonald's, they have to go to McDonald's protocol. It doesn't matter what Target taught them. It doesn't matter what Target, Target said to them. They have to be retrained. You see what I'm saying? So you got they got to strip down all that Target stuff, and now they got to go to McDonald's protocol. Same thing. It doesn't matter what her mom taught her, her dad, what they said, what they did. Once she's here with me, now she has to adhere to what I'm doing and what I'm saying. And so, therefore, the training process begins a, a whole other thing. So what happened before it doesn't necessarily matter. Now, what she has to understand and what she needs to do is that she needs to be equipped to be coachable. And that's the thing. Some women may not be coachable or they might not want to be coached by you, which is why they'll be uncooperative. And then again, like I was saying earlier, that's not a good woman for you. But if she's coachable and she's willing to learn, then those are the type of women that you can have a relationship with. And they'll most likely be those type of women who will be a good girlfriend, wife and et cetera. You see what I mean? I do. When you say coachable, I'm guessing you mean submissive, right? Oh yeah, submissive, but and, and also just um, you know, yeah, that's overall really what it is, submission. Because submission, and a lot of people look at submission like a bad word, like oh, you got to submit. And all submission means is that you're under the mission. So sub means under the mission. You're under the mission of this relationship. Okay. If the mission of the relationship is A, B, and C, you need to be under that mission so the relationship can flourish. If you can't be under that mission, then therefore, we don't need to be. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be here. So the thing is. The woman is actually choosing to be a part of the, the situation. So no one's forcing her to be there. But if she wants to be there, she has to adhere to it. Like, shout out to my dude, Miles Cunningham. He always uses the example of like a person going to Harvard. If a person wants to go to Harvard, right? They, um, they're like, I got to adhere to Harvard's protocol. They go to Harvard. Harvard says, hey, you got to keep your GPA at this certain point. You got to give you a handbook and tell you this is what you need to do to, to stay in Harvard. So they want to go there. That's their dream. I want to be in Harvard. I want to be part of Harvard's program. So therefore, I have to adhere to what Harvard is talking about. You see what I mean? Nah, I feel you. Dan coming through with these questions, man. So Dan, Dan got another one. So so the upgrade would not be necessary because she is doing everything already before the upgrade. So I'm basically he's saying that, yeah, if she was already a girl, what's the point of making her a wife if she's doing wife stuff when she's when she is your girl? No, this is what this is what you're not understanding. See, 
she's doing what she needs to do as the girlfriend, right? But what happens is, is that she gets to upgrade to wife because there's other things you need her to do as a wife. So for example, again, I, I just love using the business analogies. Okay. In the mail room, you're stacking, you're, you're putting mailing, you're, you're mailing out the envelopes. You're putting stuff in the envelopes. You're putting the stamps on it. You're putting it in, down the chute. And that's what, that's your job. So now I come to you and I say, Hey, I like the fact that you, you know, you're always on time. You're doing, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the mailroom stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade you to supervisor of whatever of the mailroom. Now you are working in the mailroom. Now you're going to be the supervisor of the mailroom. So you're supervising everybody that's doing the mail, right? So now what happens is, is that the upgrade, right? That gives her bigger responsibility. But the only reason she got the bigger responsibility is because she's been doing the worker mailroom stuff correctly, right? So it's not the same thing. It's different. And then what happens is, is that the trade-off also is because you've upgraded her, she also gets more of your commitment. So it's also, what I'm saying is everything is, is, is moving up. So now if you're the supervisor, you're going to get more money than when you was just the worker in the mailroom. So you're getting more money and you get more responsibility. You see what I'm saying? So when you're in a, when you're in that relation, when you upgrade her, she's getting the title and then she's getting more of your commitment. But then with that title, she has to do more work. You see what I'm saying? So what you're doing is, is that you're upgrading her from, from that position, position A to position B, which is the supervisor. You're graduating her from girlfriend to wife. So now as a girlfriend, she just had to stack the, 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 uh, the mail. As the wife, she's supervising the mailroom. You see what I'm saying? So she's getting upgraded to a different position. You see what I mean? So she's not doing the same exact thing as wife and girlfriend. She's actually doing more as wife. Lucario gives some damn good advice in that video. Whether or not you agree with them. If you enjoy watching that video, you can watch the full episode by clicking the link here. You may also enjoy watching this video as well. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.